Hi everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I uh, just thought I'd do this Facebook Live with you guys this morning. It's Thursday morning. Starting to sprinkle a little bit over here in San Diego. But this Facebook Live is a very special one um, that I think will really help answer a lot of questions for those of you that have been thinking about starting your own business. Um, I'm going to give you 20 reasons why you should actually say yes to network marketing. 20 reasons why you, why you should say yes. This is not brand specific. This is not specific to any particular company. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? Uh, this is not specific to any particular company. So if you are a part of a network marketing company, it doesn't matter whether it's health and wellness, skincare, travel, professional services, anything like that, you definitely want to share this uh, with people in your personal network. So we're not going to talk about any particular company. We're not going to talk about any particular product. This is going to be specifically just for the entire network marketing profession. Okay. Hello, Romania. Let me see who else is on there. I got, we got Tyler on here. Going to do some shout outs right now. My man, Glenn. What's up, Glenn? Tyler. Anut. Hey, Sarah Foster representing. Hey guys, do me a favor. Um, maybe share this on your wall. Share this on your Facebook wall. Is it even called a wall anymore on Facebook? Uh, share this with your personal network. If you're a network marketer, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to encourage people to start their own business, share this. Do me another favor. Give me some thumbs. Give me some of these Woo, going in there. Woo. Give me some of those and give me some of these. All right. Let's make this fun. Let's have a fun Thursday. I'm going to give some shout outs to you guys. Maybe type in the comments section where you're watching from, uh, the city and state that you're watching this from. And if you're watching this from another country, and I know we got some people from another country out there, type that in the comments section as well. I don't know. Maybe if you're watching this live, type in hashtag live. And if you're watching this on replay, type in hashtag replay. All right. And, um, Transylvania. Yeah. What's up, Jason? How you doing? So um, if you're watching this on replay as well and you have some questions, go ahead and type those in the comment sections. I'm still going to I'm still going to address them. OK, so uh, this Facebook live is going to be Hey, I get some of these coming up. Awesome. I love it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I got some of these. Hey, um, so I want to I, I want to talk to you guys about 20 reasons why you should say yes to network marketing. You might have a friend that's involved in a company and they're trying to uh, they're trying to share something with you. They want you to check something out and and you know they're calling you, they're maybe inviting you to jump on like a conference call or a webinar or maybe go to some sort of event or they're sharing products with you and that's the type of person that is going to impact the world. That is the type of person that wants to help you. Hi, D. How are you, D? <clears throat> Say hi to Travis for me. Um, well, we're going to talk about the top 20 reasons why you should say yes to network marketing. If you're not already involved in network marketing, uh, if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, anything like that. So I encourage you, uh, if you are already involved, maybe share this on your wall, share this with your personal network. Uh, this is not going to be product focused. This is not going to be company focused. This is for anybody and everybody. So I want to keep this a very safe Facebook Live for everybody to jump on. Um, so reason number one of 20 to say yes to network marketing is that you can work from anywhere. You know, it, it, it is a mobile business with technology the way that it is today. You have the ability to create your own business and run and operate your own business from wherever you are. Hi, Julie. How are you? It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter, you know, if you're in your car, whether you're at the beach. I mean, just imagine that you can build your business and work on your business while you're at the beach, while you're in your car, while you're on your tablet or your iPad or on your cell phone. It's a truly mobile business. Okay. Uh, so you can work from anywhere. 
Uh, as long as you have an internet connection, that's always helpful too uh, in your cell phone. Uh, number two, your own schedule. This is a great way to generate an additional income stream into your household uh, without having to get a second job. I know a lot of people out there that are driving for Uber, um, but the, the thing about that is that now you got like strangers coming into your car and um, you know it's not safe too. I've heard some pretty crazy horror stories about people that drive for Uber and Lyft uh, people throwing up in their cars, people being belligerent, you know, all that kind of stuff. So there are so many different ways to make an additional income. Hi, Lucy. <clears throat> um, so many different ways to generate an additional income. And so, um, this one, you get to work your own schedule. You don't have to show up when someone makes you show up. You don't have to clock in and clock out or anything like that. Uh, so this is truly your own business that you can run and operate you know, in addition to your regular full-time job, okay? So that's number two. You can do it on your own schedule. Uh, number three, number three is going to be very low point of entry, very low cost of entry, very low investment to get started as uh, in a network marketing company, starting your own business in network marketing. Hi, Lorianne. How are you? Guys, do me a favor. Maybe type in the comment section where you're watching from. I know we got a few people that are watching on. Let's create some engagement here. If there are any things that any any uh, of the top 20 reasons to join a network marketing company, if there's anything that you think I might forget or anything that you suggest would be good, type that in the comment section too. Okay. And if you have questions, type that in the comment section. I promise I'll get back to them whether you're watching on live or replay. So, um, so where are we? Low cost of entry. So you could get started, start your own network marketing business. Uh, gosh, I mean, if we really want to go bare bones to this, my network marketing company that I'm in, and I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Some of you already know. Um, you can get started for as little as 60 bucks, all right, to get your own business started. You have your own website where customers can order product. Um uh, And then you can order different product packages to get your business going uh, much bigger, much faster. You're going to have a better advantage by having uh, particular products that you can share with people. So you can get started for less than a hundred bucks and you have your own business. All right. Um, you can get started with a couple of hundred bucks, maybe two or three hundred dollars and have a little bit of a better advantage. Hi, Casey. How are you, Casey? Um, uh, you can always, uh, invest a little bit more. Remember, this is a business related expense. You're not starting a traditional brick and mortar business. I know people that have started traditional brick and mortar businesses where they had to get business loans. They had to uh, invest hundreds of thousands of dollars and you can't do it on your own schedule. You can't do it part time. You have to be in it to win it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you have to wear several different types of hats to do that. Hi, Jason. Um, and, and, uh, and very high risk. When you invest hundreds of thousands of dollars in a traditional brick and mortar business, uh, it's very stressful. Uh, you're, you're, you're stressed, you're worried, and you have your back up against the wall because you have to pay back those loans eventually, right? And uh, you, know, you may not make your investment back for a couple of years, all right? So out of you know, there's like 90% of businesses, traditional brick and mortar businesses that start fail and only maybe 10, maybe less than 10% of them uh, actually survive. And if they do survive, one, you had to invest a lot of money to start that up. What's up, Billy O'Neill? Um, you had to start, invest a lot of money to get that started. And, and if you make it, you may not see a penny of profit for like three or four or even five or even longer, five years. So that's another benefit of starting a network marketing business is a low cost of entry. Anybody can do it. All right. Uh, number four, here's a really cool one. No employees. Think about that for a second. Those of you that are traditional business owner that you had to deal with uh, employees, flaky employees that may not show up for work, flaky employees that might steal money out of your cash register, uh, employees that have issues with other employees and all that interdepartmental drama and HR stuff you have to deal with, you know, uh, network marketing, what you're basically doing is you're locking arms with people and you're building a team of people and you're creating a partnership with 
dozens of people, hundreds of people, thousands of people, tens of thousands of people that are working with you and you're working with them. So it's a true partnership and you lean on each other, you support each other, you help each other, you encourage each other. It's really a team effort with this. You're in business for yourself in network marketing, but you're not in business by yourself, right? Okay, um, so no employees. Number five of the 20 reasons to say yes to network marketing, number five is no billing and accounts receivable. You don't have to, you don't have to hire an accountant, a bookkeeper, that knows spreadsheets and Excel and all this stuff and crunches numbers and everything like that. And, and you don't have to learn that either. So let's say you don't want to hire somebody to do that. Somebody's got to do it in a traditional brick and mortar business. Um, and, and yes, that's true, Billy, absolutely. Secondary source of income. Um, you don't have to hire somebody to do that. You don't have to learn how to do that. Uh, pretty much every network marketing company out there when you sign up to become an independent brand partner, an independent distributor, uh, an, an associate, whatever you want to call it, uh, you not only have a website that your customers can order products from or order your services from or, um, or they can sign up to become a brand partner, independent distributor, whatever you want to call it, become a part of your team. They can do all that from your website, but you also have a secondary website that you can log in with your private username and password that keeps track of all the uh, commissions, the inventory of your business, uh, your team growth, um, you know, all that accounting stuff, all that back office behind the scenes stuff that every business has, your network marketing company already created that for you and you get that for whatever your annual fee is per year to have your business going. With my company, it's like $49, $49 plus tax per year. So it's like $60 per year and the company creates all the tools necessary for you to be successful. Okay, and that's pretty much with most network marketing companies, aside from the products that, and services that you want to be using, because of course you want to be a product of the product. Okay, so um, so that was number five, no billing in accounts receivables. This is powerful, number six, and I had a conversation with somebody about number six. Um, there is uh, tax benefits of a home-based business. Now, I'm not a CPA, I'm not claiming to be a CPA, but what I will tell you is the tax benefits of starting your own network marketing business and operating your own network marketing business, the tax advantages alone are a reason to do it. Whether you're going to be hugely successful and make hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe even millions of dollars per year doing it, or whether you make a couple of hundred dollars per month or a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand dollars per year doing it. The tax advantages that you get, you get to take advantage of the tax benefits that the rich people get to take. You get, as a network marketing professional, you get to take advantage of the exact same tax benefits as Richard Branson, Donald Trump, Robert Kiyosaki, Bill Gates, business owners, okay? Elvis, what's up, Big E? Out in Utah, I'm gonna be out in Utah next week, my man. I just wanted to give you a shout out. But um, so the tax benefits alone of starting your own network marketing business are amazing and that could very well pay for itself, all right? And I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you, once again, I'm not a CPA, I'm not a tax professional, so don't take this as professional advice, okay? But business-related expense, what are business-related expenses? What are tax, tax, um, things that, what, what are things that I'm just going to tell you the things that I can write off as a network marketer, the cell phone that I'm using to do this Facebook live, uh, my laptop computer that I use to work on my business, the iPad that I have right here in my hand, <clears throat> the products that I'm using. I love the products that my company has. You probably love the products that your company has. And you want to be a product of the product. And, and you know what's, you know what's cool? If you have a regular full time job and you go buy nutritional products, you can't write that off. If you have a regular nine to five W2 income tax gets taken out before it even hits your bank account type of job, you can't write off that stuff. But as a network marketing professional, 
You can write off that stuff. That's a business-related expense for you to become a product of the product, all right? Um, if you're going to uh, meet up with friends for coffee, going to sit down and have dinner with somebody, business-related expense. If you're going to a network marketing event, I know we have a, a huge network marketing event that's going on, on in Las Vegas, Nevada right now, uh, Eric Worre's uh, GoPro Recruiting Mastery is taking place right now. And my man, JT, John Taylor out of Houston, Texas, one of my dear mentors that got me into this business and taught me and molded me and launched me into this profession. Uh, he just walked across the stage uh, as a million dollar earner, Hall of Fame network marketer. So I want to give you a shout out, give you some love. I love you, man. I love you every single day. I think about you and, and, and I appreciate you. Uh, Elvis, you know who I'm talking about. Um, so um, where was I? Man, I got distracted there giving out some love. Okay, the tax benefits, right? So if you're going to an event, uh, your admission ticket for that event, your airline tickets for that event, the hotel room for that event, the food that you're eating for that event, you know? Those are all business-related expenses, guys. Um, you know, uh, my vehicle. I use my vehicle to go for meetings. I use my vehicle to go sit down with people and, and entertain people and, and connect with people. Business-related expense. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Okay, so that is um, number six, Okay. Tax benefits, you get a a ch the ability to take advantage of tax advantages that the rich get to take advantage of because you are a network marketing professional. Uh, okay, number seven, this is powerful. No discrimination. No discrimination. Anybody can be a network park marketing professional. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter what you did in the past doesn't matter if you just got out of jail or got out of prison or whether your mommy and daddy put a silver spoon in your mouth and you're, you are come from a wealthy family. It doesn't matter whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're brown, whether you're orange or purple or yellow or polka dot or whether you got zits on your face or whether you're young or you're old. Man, that's pretty cool too, right? I mean, non-discriminatory. It doesn't matter your experience level. It doesn't matter whether you whether you are a stay-at-home mother, which is the most important job in the world. Just want to make sure you guys all know that. Um, mothers are our future. Every day is Mother's Day. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're a CEO of a company or whether you're a professional athlete or whether you're a janitor or whether you're unemployed. It doesn't matter your background, your ethnicity. It doesn't matter uh, what your religious beliefs are, whether you're Christian, Catholic, uh, you know, whether you're, I, I mean, whether you're athlete, atheist, whether you don't believe in anything, whether you're whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, but you got to have faith. I'm going to tell you right now, in order to do this business, in order to be good at this business, you got to have faith. You got to have faith in yourself, right? Hey, Gary, how you doing? So um, so that is number seven. No discrimination. Doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, and what your background is. That is number seven of 20 reasons why you should get involved in network marketing and get started today. All right, get started today with whatever company you're looking at. Um, number eight, no commuting. No commuting. You can run this business from your kitchen table. I do a lot of my webinars in my garage. You know, <laughs> you know, my webinars, my conference calls, stuff like that. You know, when the family's watching TV in the living room, I don't want to disturb them. I get on a phone call and I go in the garage. Sometimes that's my office. I've 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 done business while laying in bed in my pajamas. Maybe not in my pajamas. <laughs> no, that's too much information. Anyhow. Um you know, so so no commute. No commute. You can do this business online. Some people love doing belly to belly, getting together with people, sitting down for coffee, in-home presentations. That's old school. That's old school. That will always be the foundation of this business because that's relationship building. This is a relationship business. If you love people, you know, if you love people, this is a great business for you to be in. 
All right. Um, all right. So no commuting. Where was I? Where was I? Oh yeah. You, you could do this business anywhere, right? Uh, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Okay. Uh, five. Oh no, that this is, gosh, we're on nine. We're almost halfway there. Security, security guys. Um, Today's job market is crazy. Our economy is crazy. Amazon completely changed the game. We are living in a world right now that is totally flipped around. Me personally, I've gotten laid off from three different jobs out of my control. Not my fault. Okay. It might have been my fault getting into those jobs. But one job that I had... Uh, let's see one job that I got laid off from, I was, uh, the operations director for a huge golf resort over in forest ranch over here in San Diego, California, the very expensive area of San Diego, like where all like the professional athletes live and all the celebrities live. I li I worked in that area. What's up, man, dog, Manny. And what's up, Gil. Um, and I lived in, I lived, I worked in, at a golf resort a golf community out there in Forest Ranch. I was the operations director. Uh, they got, by, they were owned by a company called Starwood that owns like the Sheraton and all these other companies. They had about 300 other resorts all over the world. Okay. And um, the economy just went down the crapper. Can I say the crapper on Facebook Live? I just did. Uh, we'll beep that out. Maybe they'll beep that out. Um, but uh, I got laid off because that company ended up selling off their golf resorts to other companies. So I lost my job. The brand new general manager of the company that I was working for came into my office. Get this. He came into my office with two cardboard boxes in one hand and one of those milk crates, those plastic milk crates in the other hand, walked into my office. And I can't, I, I remember this day. I remember, I'll never forget this day. He walked into my office and he wasn't a jerk. He wasn't a jerk about it. He walked into my office and I could tell it was eating him up inside. And he came up to me and he said, Ryan, and I, I just had a, a new child. I had a brand new child. He, uh, and I have three kids and a wife and a mortgage and cars and bills, all that stuff. So backstory. He uh, came into my office and he sat down and he, he put those on the ground and I knew it was coming. And he looked at me and he said, you know, Ryan, this has nothing to do with you. This is not personal. You know that one. This isn't personal. It's just business. Well, you know what? It's personal because you're impacting my family. And I'm trying not to get emotional about this. Ah, oh, man. Whenever I tell that story, I, I kind of lose it a little bit because it was a very tough day. Ooh, hold on. Let me, let me rewind. Whoa, whoa. I went to a place there for a second. I went somewhere for a second. Okay. Let me try and say this without getting emotional. So he walked into my office. Woo. So he walked into my office and he, uh, he basically said, you know, unfortunately we're bringing in our own management team and I need you to pack your stuff and take your stuff out of the office. And like, this is your last day. We're in a world right now where having a job is risky. We're living in a world right now where owning your own business is the new safe and secure way to go. And if you believe me when I say that, give me some of these, okay? Give me some of those up in the air. Hit the thumbs up. If you believe, if you really believe me, give me some of those. Give me some hearts. Throw some hearts up in the air. Entrepreneurship is the new retirement plan for the 21st century. Keep that in mind. I'm not saying if you have a job, that's a bad thing. I have a job. Uh, I, I'm a manager for a major resort company here in the United States. I love my job. I love the people that I work with. Man dog, I know you're on there. You, we're, 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 we're coworkers. And I work with some great people and I love my job and I love the people that I work with. You know, but, you know, take some time to understand that you have an opportunity to do something that can put safety and security in your in your back pocket, if you will. Your job can pay your bills. Your job can cover your expenses, and that's very important. Your job can put food on the table for your families. But what if you built a network marketing business 
And that was creating your dreams. You know, think about what your dreams are. Sometimes what we do is we take our, uh, Rafferty, how you doing Rafferty? Um, sometimes we take our dreams and we shrink them to fit our paycheck. And then instead what we should be doing, um, instead what we should be doing is we should be changing our circumstances to accommodate our dreams right? Multiple streams of income, diversified income. The average millionaire has seven different ways that they make money. Okay. So that's, that's a little touch on security. I'm sorry. I got a little emotional right there. I lost it. I lost it for a second talking about my story, but you know what? That's important. I got, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go back there sometimes to really appreciate where you are now. Right. And that was only one of the times that I got laid off from my job. There were two other times that I got laid off. Another time was uh, I was managing a gym and the owner of the gym uh, got into a divorce because he was cheating on his wife and she caught him. She caught him. I, was, I thought she was going to do like a, a, what's her name, Bobbit. Going to chop that thing off. <laughs> okay. No, but, um, but she caught him and she took him to the cleaners. Took him to the cleaners, forced him to liquidate everything, including my job. And I lost my job because he couldn't keep it in his pants. So, um, so just, uh, throwing out his dirty laundry out there. So, <laughs> um, okay. So security, let's move on to number 10, number 10 of the top 20 reasons why you should say yes. My cousin, Tammy, top 20 reasons why you should say yes to network marketing, why you should say yes to starting your own business, why you should say yes to entrepreneurship. Okay. Um, residual income, residual income. You got residual income and you've got passive income. I don't think you get those from your job. Not a lot of jobs are going to give you residual and passive income. Okay, let's talk about, first let's talk about passive income. What's passive income? Passive income is money that you make. Um, uh, uh, passive income is money that you make without doing anything. It's money that you make that you just get. All right, it's it's cash flow that happens. That's passive income. All right? If you bought a rental property and your mortgage on that rental property is $1,000 and uh you're renting it out for $2,000, your passive income on that rental property is $1,000 a month. Okay? All right? Let's talk about so passive income. That's money that you just make. It just comes and it just flows. All right? You don't have to do anything. You don't have to clock in. You don't have to clock out. You don't have to show up and sit at your cubicle. Passive income. Okay, let's talk about residual income. Residual income is very, very important income. This is income that you generate. It's almost like passive income, but residual income is income that you make from work that you did in the past. Okay? Residual income is income that you make from work that you did in the past. People that understand residual income musical artists that have albums that are continuing to sell. Elvis Presley makes millions of dollars still and he's no longer alive because of the movies, because of the albums, because of the music, all that kind of stuff. Michael Jackson, his estate is making money still because of all the things that, you know, stuff like that. Actors, um, me and my family, we got on this thing we, we were like binge watching friends right the show friends on nbc remember that show it's no longer on but we're, we were binge watching that from like episode season one episode one and every once in a while like we're, we're just kind of hanging out we'll throw one episode on or two episodes on or something like that and we were watching friends okay courtney cox who played monica uh who is who is a uh, chandler the guy who plays chandler matt perry matthew perry uh, Jennifer Aniston. Okay. I love Jennifer Aniston. Anyhow, uh, Jennifer Aniston who played Rachel and Phoebe, um, Lisa Kudrow. They understand Matt LeBlanc. Okay. Who else did I miss? Did I miss anybody else? The main characters, Joey Ross. What's Ross? Is it David Schwimmer? I think something like that. Those guys understand residual income. The work that they did, filming, showing up to the studio, showing up on set, learning their lines, learning the script, getting in front of the camera, 
take after take after take in order to film one episode, two, three, four seasons, five seasons, and then for that to be on Netflix right now and people to still be watching it, they're earning a residual income because of the work that they did. Now with network marketing, you have the ability to do that same thing. Okay, I'm not an actor, all right? I'm not a professional athlete. Um, you know, I'm not getting those Nike endorsements. I can barely swing a golf club without my back hurting the next the next three days, okay? <clears throat> um, but I'm not an actor, I'm not a comedian. I'm, you know, people say I'm kind of funny. But, uh, but residual income with network marketing. You introduce your products and your opportunity to people. Okay, the concept behind network marketing, and this is a business that can duplicate too. So you can even talk about duplication when you're talking about passive income, residual income, income that continues to grow month after month, year after year. Okay, um, so, so, so you can... You, you, what you want to do is you want to use the product on a consistent basis and find two other people that do the same thing. If it's a service, you want to use your service consistently month after month after month and find two other people that do the same thing. That's the backbone of this industry. All right. And when you do that, you're going to accumulate business partners that are going to go into business with you and build their own business. And you're going to accumulate customers and they're just going to use the product. They're going to continue to use the product. They're going to continue to build their business. And you did that work that one time and you're getting paid over and over and over and over and over again because of the products that they're using and their organization is using and their organization's organization is using and that can go viral, okay? Uh, and, and, and the teams that they're building where you have like, let's say you find two people that do the same thing as you and then they find two people. Now you got four people. Four people turn into eight. Eight turn into 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. And before you know it, you have hundreds and hundreds of brand partners, customers, thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands that you're earning override commissions on because of the work that you were doing. And you're getting paid over and over and over again. That's residual income. That's the power of network marketing. Okay? So that is residual income. Number 11 of the 20 ways that you can make, the, the 20, uh, number 11 of the 20 reasons why you should say yes to network marketing is training already in place and readily available. There are leaders out there that are looking to help you that have a vested interest in making sure that you're successful. Um, there are training programs that are in place with a lot of these really, really good network marketing companies. Uh, with my team, I created a whole training progr program uh, for people that become a part of my team. If they are have never done anything like this before, they have no sales experience whatsoever, they have no business experience whatsoever, I can teach them how to make a lot of money. Okay, if they come to the table and they do have experience, that's great too. If they have sales experience, that's wonderful also. If they are a part of a network marketing company that may, may lo no longer be in existence or they're looking for a new home, they wanna do something different and they wanna come on board and become a part of my team or your team or whatever it may be, um, you know, there's a, a, a training program that's in place. There's a system that's in place to make sure that anybody can be successful. The only thing this is the only thing that you need to become successful in the network marketing business. This is all you need. You need to have a goal. You need to have a goal of what you want to accomplish. Okay? And you got to be willing to chase that goal, okay? Just having a goal is great. Oh, I, I want to be rich. I want to make a lot of money. I want to change my family's life. I want to do this. I want to do that. You know, goals are good, but you got to put a plan in place. You got to work with your leadership and have them train you, but don't get stuck in your training mode for too long because you got to execute. You got to execute your plan. All right. But there's training programs in place for anybody, anybody. Doesn't matter where you come from. Like I said, remember, no discrimination. Doesn't matter your background. Uh, your ethnicity, your religious beliefs, your political beliefs, anything like that. It doesn't matter. The system works for everybody. You just got to plug yourself in the system and start doing. 
Just come to the table with your goals. Come to the table with your dreams. Figure out what you're playing for, why you want to do this, and how important is it to you? Do you want it just to want it, or do you want it enough to do it? Okay, so training is in place. Very, very good training is in place, actually. And, and I'll take it even a step further. There are things that I learned being in network marketing that have transitioned into my life, into my professional J-O-B, nine to five job life, my personal relationships, uh, my family life. There are things that I've learned. Getting involved in network marketing and learning those things is a value enough right there. And you learn so much about yourself as well and what you're capable of. So training, training is in place. Number 12 of the 20 reasons why you need to say yes to network marketing. Um, you receive the help, encouragement, and support of others in the same profession. Of the same profession. I'm not even talking about the same company. Those of you that are involved in a network marketing company, I don't care whether you're involved in Herbalife, Melaleuca, Kiani, Prepaid Legal, which is now called Legal Shield, Viseo, uh, Amway, whatever, you know, whatever it is, whatever company that you're in, I'm all for you. I am like, I meet you in person, I find out that that's what you're doing, bam, high five. Amen, brother. Amen, sister. Go chase your dreams. What can I do to help and support you? We're not in the same businesses. You guys that are watching this right now, you might be in different companies than I'm in. All right? But I'm supporting you. I'm here for you. I'm like, you know what? I want to support you because I want this industry to win. I want this profession to win. I want people to understand that there are people that are winning, that are people that are earning People that are learning, people that are growing, people that are changing their lives, changing their family's lifestyle, and changing the lives and family lifestyles of other people. This is not about getting people. Oh, I'm going to get that guy, or oh, I'm going to get him, or I'm going to... that. I'm, I, we're not here to get people. We're here to give to people. We're here to inspire people and show people that there's a lot more out there than just waking up, going to work, paying bills to die, right? Um, so, so, so the encouragement and support that you get. And then, and then when we talk about the encouragement and support that you get from people that are in your company and even maybe are in your team, maybe are part of your upline that are reaching down to you with their hands saying, hey, what can I do to help you? How can I, how can I serve you? You got people above you that are saying, how can I work for you? Put me to work to help you build your business because I have a vested interest in making sure that you're successful, making sure that you're happy, making sure that you're growing, making sure that you're, use, you're, 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 you're using the products, loving the product and creating your own lifestyle that you want. Your upline wants that for you. Your upline prays for you every night. I pray for my team every night saying, I, I pray and I don't want to get too religious here, but I pray and I'm just like, Lord Jesus, please bless my team. Please watch over my team. Give them the strength, the perseverance, the patience, the energy, and the passion to go forward and achieve the dreams that, dreams that they want to achieve and change the lives of the people that they want to change the lives of. Amen. You know, that those are the prayers. I just had a prayer just now. I meant that. I meant that. I I prayed for my team. I pray for you guys. I'm praying for you guys that are watching this, that are thinking about getting involved in network marketing, that are thinking about starting your own business, that you, you, you're like, I don't know if I can do this. I'm not sure if I can do this. You know what? Get involved anyways and figure it out along the way. You got people that will help you do that. Once again, you're in business for yourself, but you're not in business by yourself. Okay. Um, Training is in place and readily available. Personal growth. We just talked about personal growth. That's 13, personal growth. Um, you know, I, I, the things that I learned from network marketing, like I said, have transitioned into other parts of my life. I'm a much better person. I'm a much more effective, passionate person. I haven't always been like this. Network marketing made me like this. Me network marketing broke me out of my shell. And, and made me become relentless and hungry and passionate and love people and love on people and pour greatness into people like all of you that are watching this.
Okay. Um, so, um, number 14 of 20 reasons why you need to say yes to network marketing. You build social skills. You build social skills. You, you, you learn skills that help you to become a better person. You do. What do we do here? We're sharing high end products and services to people that are wasting their money on mediocre stuff with companies that only want to take your money. They don't want to help you make money. They just want to take your money. So we, we have to have social skills to be able to convey that message, to be able to establish that rapport, to establish that trust so people understand that I'm not here to get you. I'm not here to just make money off you. I want to lock arms with you. I want us to be partners together. I'm selective on who becomes a part of my team. I'm selective on who I, I bring into my circle because as I build my network marketing business, you're the people I'm going to be breaking bread with. You're going to be the people that I'm going to be spending my time with. You may be the people that may be coming into my home. So I, so you got to be selective. Hey, George, George Baylor. Hey, JT, huh? <laughs> that guy. Love that guy. George Baylor, another one of my previous business partners. Um, so social skills. You got to have social skills. This is a, a relationship business. People who do very well at this business are people that love people, that care about people. If you don't love people, you don't care about people, and all you want to do is make money off of people, don't even sign up. This isn't for you. I'm going to tell you right now. If you're greedy, you're stingy, all you want is to be for yourself, don't do this. You're going to be pounding your head against the wall, wondering why nobody's following you, nobody's listening to you. Got to love people, all right? Social skills. Okay, uh, number 15, allows you to help others on a massive scale. Think about that. What's your purpose in life? You know, clocking in and clocking out at a regular full-time job is good and that pays the bills and you might like it and it may very much be important to you and your company. But are you impacting people on a larger scale? With network marketing, you have the ability to... Ah, man, how do you say it? You're like the pebble that drops into the lake, right? Think about this. You can introduce your business and opportunity to somebody, and they introduce it to somebody. They introduce it to three other people, and one of those three other people introduce it to five other people, and maybe that one person opens up an entire, entirely new market in another country that puts food on the table for a family that may have been almost about to lose their home, be on the streets, but you shared something with them that changed their life. And now they're passionate and now they're impacting other people. They're serving their purpose as well, okay? Because most of the time at our jobs, traditional nine to five job, we go to work, we clock in, we clock out, we sit at our desk, we do our paperwork, we turn on our paperwork, we clock out, we go home, you know? That's mostly what mo most of it is if you're if you're working in a, a you know blue collar right so so the ability to impact the world on a larger scale right remember how we talked about duplication two becomes four four eight sixteen thirty two and so on and hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands even hundreds of thousands of people that may not have even heard about your company. If you had not first spoken to those two first people, right? That's powerful. That's the pebble in the lake, right? Creating that ripple that creates a tsunami. You could be that tsunami. You, you could be that pebble that creates that tsunami, right? That's that's powerful. That's what gets ah. That's a, that's what gets my juices flowing right there. <laughs> wow, I, I just got excited just now. Okay, uh, so number. 16 of 20 reasons why you should say yes to network marketing. If you're a network marketer and you're watching this, hit share. You got to share this with your people, okay? Um, let's see. Quickly profitable. Remember how we talked about traditional brick and mortar business? You have to invest hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let's say you're going to open up a coffee shop or a restaurant or something like that and you invest, invest hundreds of thousands of dollars in that. And if you survive, if you make it, if you're a part of the 10 or eight or 5% that actually make it, you're not seeing a penny of profit, 
for three, four, five, maybe even seven years. You're volunteering your time, hoping that you make it. Network marketing, you get started for a very low upfront cost for maybe just a couple hundred bucks. Maybe you wanna get in at the highest level. Let's say like with my company, to come in at the highest level, 1,500 bucks. Most people have that on their credit card, but you have the ability to get a return on your investment because of some of these companies, the way that the comp compensation plans are set up, the way that you get paid, you can make your money back within like just a couple of days. Invest about, let's say, let's say you invest, let's go middle of the road. Let's say you invest $500 to start your own network marketing business, $500. Business related expense, remember we're talking about that, tax advantages of the rich. $500 to start your own network marketing business. You share this with people in your personal circle. Some of them become customers within your first week. Some of these people become brand partners or distributors, become a part of your team. You get upfront commissions for signing them up and then purchasing product packages. Okay. Um, and and you have the ability, hold on a second. You have the ability to, uh, to get a return on investment. Your ROI can happen very, very quickly. There's no other business that allows you to do that. No other business. Network marketing is the only business that allows you to do that. Return on investment. Let's say you're going to invest in property. You have to put a down payment on a house and then you have to get a loan for $100,000. I don't know where you live. I live in San Diego, California, so it's not $100,000. Half a million dollars, okay? And then to create cash flow, okay? High investment, right? Right? Return on investment network marketing, very, very fast. It's the smartest smartest business model in the world. The purest form of entrepreneurship, okay? Um, quickly profitable. Number 18, we're almost there, guys. Build your business by using the internet. Now, yeah, you can build your business belly to belly, the old school way, the foundational way, relationship business, remember? I love belly to belly. I love sitting down with people over coffee. I love sitting down in someone's living room and watching a presentation and hearing amazing testimonials and hearing hearing people's stories and just breaking bread with people. I love that, man. I love that so much. But with the internet, Facebook Live, YouTube, webinars, Zoom meetings, cloud meetings, all that kind of stuff, technology, FaceTime, man, you can build your business from your mobile device, right? You got a cell phone, you can build a business. Take advantage of the internet. People are making money on the internet today. If you've ever wanted to make money on the inter internet, if you ever wanted to make money on Facebook, you ever wanted to make money in social media, get involved in a network marketing company. Bam, right there. You're an online entrepreneur, congratulations, all right? Uh, so build a business from the internet. Okay, uh, 19, almost there guys. The ability to work in a stress-free environment. I'm not even going to need to elaborate on that. You don't have a boss leaning over your shoulder. I have great bosses. Don't get me wrong. I've had horrible bosses. I had this one boss that when people would walk into his office, they were scared. And when they walked out of their, his office, they were crying. I've seen grown men upset and sad walking out of my boss's office in a previous job that I was in. Someone leaning over your shoulder, do I need to find something for you to do? I don't want you to work here today. I want you to work here today instead. You know why? Because I said so. How about that? Because I said so. Because I'm your boss. Because I told you so. Because if you don't, I'm going to can you. Because you, because if you don't, I'll find somebody who will. How about that one, <laughs> right? So, so that's not my life right now. I have great bosses. I have great coworkers. I have great employees. I just want you to know that at my regular full time job. Okay, so the ability to work in a stress free environment. But some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you think about like one of the worst bosses that you've had in your in your career. Think about that. Post his name. Type his name and tag. No, I'm just kidding. Just joking. I'm just joking. Don't tag him here, okay? Um, okay, so ability to work in a stress-free environment. And then number 20, 
I think number 20 is, in my personal opinion, probably one of the most valuable ones. And I'm going to really, really dig in here on this one. Okay. I'm a father. I have three kids that I love very much. And I know this world is changing. Top 20 reason, the number 20 reason, the last reason that I want to share with you. I know there's so many more. So type in the comment section if you can think of any other ones. Um, because you can get your children involved. You can teach your children entrepreneurship by being the example, not by telling them they need to start their own business someday. They're not going to listen to you, what you tell them to do. They're going to be an example of what you do. So be the example, be an entrepreneur, show them, you know what, son, I have my own regular full-time job, but I have my own business on the side. They see that. They watch that. My youngest son, he watches me and he sees what I do. My daughter and my oldest son, they see what I do. And I see the things that I'm doing transitioning into their lifestyle and, and helping to mold them into the person that they're becoming. They see me fail. They see me fail. They see me hit the ground, but they see me get up. They see me win. They see me celebrate. When I bring on a new partner, when I have an event, when I'm on stage, when I'm speaking to a group and I'm pouring love into people, lifting people up, showing people what they're capable of, my kids see that. My children see that. That's the number 20 reason right there because I love my kids. I love my kids so much. I love my wife so much. I love my family so much that that I find it to be a moral obligation to be involved in network marketing because it's it's a it's a stage for me to show them what they're capable of. So guys, if there's any other things that you think I might have missed, I know this was a long one. Hit in the comment section. Type that in. Um, you know, if you're watching this on replay, hit replay. Hashtag replay. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I just wanted to share that with you. So those are 20 reasons why you should say yes. So if you have a friend that's introducing you to a network marketing business, maybe sampling out some products to you, saying, hey, I want you to listen to this conference call, or hey, I want you to check out this webinar, or I want you to just check out what I'm doing. Don't blow them off. They care about you. They want to lock arms with you. They don't want to get you. They want to do something with you far beyond going out and drinking or going out and partying or, or going out and doing meaningless stuff. They want to do something with you that's meaningful. That they, they, they want to lock arms with you so that you both can drop a pebble into the lake and impact the world. That's commendable. You should reach out to them and say, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. I've been thinking about it. I can't lie. I've been thinking about it. Maybe I need to get off the fence. Maybe I just need to do it. Maybe I just need to maybe I just need to say yes. What's wrong with saying yes? Let me ask you something. You invest Let's say you invest $500 to start your own network marketing business. What's the worst thing that could happen? You have some amazing products. You have like $500 worth of amazing products that you end up using and you end up getting healthier. Maybe you don't build a business. Maybe you don't get any customers, but you got phenomenal products that you paid for that if you would have spent that $500 somewhere else, you would have got crappy stuff. Stuff that's not good. Because every network marketing company out there, for the most part, as much as I've seen, doesn't matter what company you're in, the companies that I've seen all have phenomenal products, high-end products that work because they have to work. Because this business is built on word-of-mouth advertising, testimonials, stories they have to work they do so that's the worst case scenario what's the best case scenario that could happen you invest five hundred dollars four hundred three hundred dollars thousand dollars you invest that money which is a business related expense remember you get started and you start your own network marketing business you become coachable you become hungry you figure out what you're playing for. The term that we like to use in this profession is what's your why? What, what drives you? Well, when you wake up in the morning, what makes you say, let's do this? Is it your family? Is it your kids? 
Is it a car that you want? Is it a, do you want to stop renting an apartment and you want to buy your own home? Do you want to get out of that crappy car you're driving? You want to drive the car of your dreams? Do you take your family to Disneyland sometimes, but now you're thinking, man, I want to take them on a Disney cruise for a week. Do you want to tell your child that's getting great grades in school and say, you know what, you get, you get accepted to whatever college you go to, I got you. You don't have to settle for junior college. You can go to whatever school you want. That's what some people are playing for. That's what I'm playing for. Figure out what your why is, what you're playing for. And be coachable. Show up. Show up to go up. Get on a conference call. Get on a webinar. Create your list of people. Start those conversations and see what happens. Just start those conversations and see what happens. All of a sudden you start those conversations and people start getting back at you and you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do, what do I do? Get with your upline, he'll show you what to do next. Get with your team leader. You know how excited they're gonna be when they find out that you're building your business? They're like, oh my goodness, let's go. Let's do this together. Because I signed up 20 people and 15 of them aren't doing anything. They signed up and they acted like it's a lottery ticket. They're not doing anything. They signed up and they think that this business is just going to poof, blow up on their own. And they're cashing out checks, checks showing up in their mailbox. It doesn't work that way. This is a business just like any other business. Nobody wants to get involved in a get-rich-quick scheme. But when it comes down to it, most people want to get rich quick for doing nothing. And that's not how this works. This is a business. People make money from moving products. People generate an income by moving high-end products and services to the end consumer. And that's all we do. And we create distribution. So what would happen if you became coachable? You figured out what you're playing for. And you showed up. And you executed a simple plan. You didn't know how you were going to do it. But you, you went through the training. And you figured it out. And you, 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 you had conversations with your leaders, your upline, and say, what do I do here? How do I do this? How should I approach this? Can you help me with this? And you guys are making money together. What could happen? You can make a couple of hundred dollars per month, a couple hundred dollars per week, a couple hundred dollars per day. Just think about that. What if? What if? So guys, if you like that, do me a huge favor. Give me some of these. Those are the 20 reasons why you need to say yes to network marketing. If you like this, you think that there are people that you know that need to hear this, share this on your wall. Uh, Ryan Beloy, San Diego, California. Wish you guys a very happy holidays to you and your families. Pull the trigger. Get off the fence if you're thinking about doing this. If you're in network marketing and you haven't really done too much yet, let's go. What are you waiting for? Let's do this. Let's lock arms. Get with whoever is reaching out to you. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of 2018. And I hope your 2019 is amazing. All right, guys. Bye-bye.